Welcome to Flipping and Punching, and today we're going to pull some orders, go dig down deeper in this new Disney lot I just picked up, all these Disney sticker, uh, stickers, <laughs> I got stickers on my mind because I just uploaded some stickers to uh, whatnot for my buy it now, I'm doing some wholesale lots, but uh, we're actually going to do a deep dive into these Disney pins I just picked up in this giant lot I did over the weekend, if you guys haven't seen the video, the video dropped on Tuesday on Picking and Punching, but let's pull some orders, we got like... It's been a really good day. Uh, actually, yesterday was a really good day because we had a horrible weekend. We did like $523 in sales over the like the past week, and that's one of the worst weeks we've had in a very long time. And then Monday comes rolling around, and we did like $1,200 in sales, and we had some more sales today. So I think we had like nine orders for like $1,400. Bucks. So let's pull some of those orders here and uh, get a head start on this. All right, so I did sell this right here. This payphone i found this payphone at a garage sale for 25 bucks i had it listed in my store for 399 399 dollars it is pretty beat up though you know right here this is damaged right in there i did i definitely had it overpriced and then i couldn't put the change top piece back in after the top came off it but um has an area code on here which i think is california uh 927 deep valley so i had that listed for 399 dollars and 99 cents and i was sending out offers i didn't get any love on it for the past couple of months i've been tired of moving around and someone sent me an offer for 155 dollars i paid 25 bucks for it um i checked comps right now a lot of the comps are around 200 bucks 150 bucks in the condition this this one's in that sounds about right so i think i definitely had to overprice why so i didn't sell it sooner but i'm gonna accept the offer so i sold this for 155 plus shipping Problem is though, now I gotta ship this thing, which shouldn't be too bad. What I what I'm gonna do though to save space, I think I'm gonna take this off here. Take if I take this top piece off, hopefully that top piece comes off. Now that I look at it, there's other pieces on here too. At least if I get this top piece off, that would help reduce, you know, four five inches on it. But yeah, I should have a big enough box. This thing's pretty solid but it is pretty small to be honest with you it is cool though man having a payphone new number who this no all right so we sold that first so that was nice got the ball rolling there sales wise all right so next item we sold is a josh grolin brand new cd i don't even know why i have this almost came in like a giant lot or something it's an a8 let's see here that's a creepy looking troll Santa, let me tell you. Goosebumps, this might be it. Yep, there it is. I think we got $4.99 plus shipping for this. But it must it must have came in a giant lot because I would not have bought this. Yeah, I think now I remember I think it did come in this giant lot of DVDs and CDs I purchased. And I probably I got the CDs for free. So if I paid $200 for 1200 DVDs. And I got 600 CDs for free, which I made a, a lot of money off the CDs. Just put them in giant lots and blowing them out. All right, this next item I sold, I actually got it from my dad. Uh, my dad used to have a hauling tree service business, so he used to get a lot of clean outs. And this came from a giant clean out he did. This is a Marine Quartz. Uh, something for navigation. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty cool piece. Had it listed for 450. There was only one sold in like the past 90 days, and there were about five others listed. So I listed at the lower end, and I had best offer on it. Someone offered me 350. I don't know if it works or not. I'm assuming it does. It looks brand new in the box, but I can't guarantee it. And with that thing being very, very old, that thing's probably 30, 40 years old. I can't guarantee it. So he counted me back. At, I asked, but said about 400. We set up 375. So not a bad, not a bad sale, but we got $375 for that. All right, so next item we sold was a video game. It's in B5. X-Men, X-Men, oh, there it is. So, all right, we sold this for, I think $19.99. Yeah, it is complete in box. I had it listed for $24.99. The buyer sent me a personal message asking if I would take less, which I would have sent, probably take two, three bucks off. I would have sent a best offer. He offered me $19.99. Recently did a video probably about a month or so ago where I was at a yard sale and I asked him if they had any video games. He brought me out this giant tote and 
I paid 10 bucks for Sega Genesis and all the Sega Genesis games. And then actually I paid 100 bucks for all the tote with everything in it. I had like a Dreamcast, Sega Genesis, a Wii, a bunch of games. So great return. Um, we probably got six, seven hundred dollars worth of stuff there. So I <laughs> wasn't expecting to see there was a bunch of loose games in there from GameCube that I didn't know that were in there and that were gonna be super valuable. But uh, we got 20, I think we got 19.99 plus shipping for that. So I had to come inside and get this next time. I actually got this at a garage sale. And figures of one day that I said I'm not going out filming, not going garage sale. I ran out of eggs in the morning for breakfast and I ran to ran to the, the Publix, our local grocery store to pick up some eggs and just happened to go past a community yard sale. Now, at that moment in my life, I was like, you know, it'd be really rude for me not to stop in. So I decided to stop in, didn't have my GoPro with me, didn't really find much, but the one of the last sales I went to is, I asked the lady if she had any comic books or video games, and she just happened to have a whole stack of comic books. I guess her uncle passed away. She had like five boxes, and we ended up buying five boxes for like 150 bucks. There wasn't really like anything really that great in there, um, I did find a whole stack of Star Wars stuff that was actually kind of valuable. I didn't know. What are you crying? Hold on. Someone likes to interrupt me, as always. There's Willow. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm talking and not petting you? I have to show you guys Blue when uh, I don't know where she's at. I think she's upstairs. But anyway. <clears throat> Willow. I'm trying to work. So I end up buying these five boxes of comic books and then... When I opened up the comic books, when I was digging through all of them, I found three comic books from 1949 They're Planet Comics. I sent those off to CGC. They came back at really low grades, but we actually just sold this comic book right here. This is from 1949. It did grade at a 3.0. Actually, this was actually from 48. But these comics back in the, yeah, I remember in the 50s, actually in the late 40s, this is post-World War II. So the pinup girls were kind of a big thing at this time. This was considered to be seductive, full on dress like that. So I had the comic book listed for $399. I sent out an offer for $375. They accepted it. So we've got $375 in this. I literally had a 10 cents into the comic book and the grading fees cost me about, I got it pressed and got it graded. So I think it cost me about 45 bucks. So. Someone needs to go out. What's wrong? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Remember though, when you come in, you got to wipe your paws, all right? All right, go pee. Here's here's one of the, here's another rescue. Hello, some Sky. Say hi to the camera. This is Sky. She's a rescue. All right, so we sold a Halloween special edition DVD set for $29.99. I paid up for this one. I think I paid me like 10 bucks or so because I knew it was a special edition. Don't disregard DVDs still. DVDs and media can sell really well. You just have to know what to buy. Anything horror movie, anything special edition horror movies, always look them up. Horror movie box sets do really well. It's in A1. I think that's it right here. Yep, here it is, which has the lenticular cover. So we turn it as Michael Myers and then yeah then the, the pumpkin face pretty cool it actually this actually would got more money one set two set but it's actually supposed to come with postcards if it had the postcards this would have probably got 40 50 bucks I almost messed up on that one because when I originally looked it up I didn't realize that there was postcards supposed to be inside of it so I thought I'd get a lot higher for that that's why I paid up for it but still get 29.99 still gonna make a small profit but um yeah not bad I'm just happy to move it and especially with Halloween around the corner you're gonna start seeing a lot of Halloween stuff sell a lot of horror movies so keep that in mind so over this weekend I did pick up this massive collection of dizzy pins it's a pretty intense video. If you guys haven't seen yet, go over the pick and punch and watch that. But um, I'm, I'm going to need you guys' help because I don't know much about Disney pins. I know there's a lot of fakes on the market. These are definitely not fake because of the source they came from, where they came from. This was an elderly couple, probably in their, I would say probably in their late 70s, early 80s. And they, she said that she spent all of her retirement going to Disney. And while I walked in this house, it was completely packed with Disney figures and, st and statues and they had this massive pin collection of 600 plus pins. 
and uh, we end up working on a deal. Um, I did pay up. I did pay over a grand for all, all these items. But I know there's what I want to look out for. I know is limited edition. I know there's um, you know li well limited edition pins, and I also know that there's limited edition pins that are are restricted to like a thousand or three thousand. That they those do good. And I was also told that there's surprise releases. So I know a bunch of those are actually in these books. It's mostly Christmas, New Year's Eve, um, Disney Cruise Lines, but there's so much stuff in these, and they are absolutely gorgeous and cool to look at. And uh, I'll, we'll take a deep dive here in, in a couple minutes in that, but I'm definitely going to need your help. So if you guys know anything about pins, anywhere I could possibly sell them, I'm thinking about just putting them all and whatnot, starting at 5 bucks a piece and just running them. My buy cost on these is roughly about $2.50. So I'm still debating what to do. I'm going to put a couple on eBay, just kind of test the waters. But I, I want to move these fast. I don't want to sit on them. All right, so next time we sold is an Insane Clown Posse uh, statue or figurine. I got this at the flea market. I bought a big Insane Clown Posse a lot. And uh, I think we have $49.99 plus shipping for this. Let's see. So insane clown posse the box did have some damage to it. If you're not familiar with the insane clown posse, the insane clown posse is an underground rap group that the bunch of misfits of society they paint their face and they have a giant cult following. Um, they were real popular in the late 90s, early 2000s. They are still around to today. They have their own record label, but they were brilliant at marketing and brilliant um, with the licensing deals they had. So they actually used to have a deal and distribute all kind of figures, uh, statues, t-shirts through Spencer's in the late and early 2000s. And they were involved in pro wrestling a little bit as well because they are big pro wrestling fans. But if you guys ever come across anything with Insane Clown Posse, look it up because it's probably going to bring really good money on eBay. Uh, we got $49.99 plus shipping for this. I think I had about maybe like 10 bucks into this when I purchased it. We ended up buying like several several statues that day and um, a bunch of other random merchandise, but we made hundreds off that lot. So uh, right now this is just pure profit. All right, so let's take a little deep dive into these pins here and see what kind of uh, items we did get. So, I mean, there's everything, but these they said limited edition to 1,000. So limited edition is 750. 750. I've had to look these up because I have no idea what these ones are actually worth. Limited edition of 500. That might be a good one. Some New Year's Eve 2003. This one says limited edition to 2500. Limited edition 4000. Limited edition 1200. New Year's Day. That's cool, is that? Happy New Year's, Simba. I mean, these are just neat, man. Like, going through all these is almost makes me want to start collecting Disney pins. But I know I cannot go down that rabbit hole because I would be at the point of no return. I would not even, I would end up keeping all these. So I cannot do that. Bad, Rod, bad. 2006, what is this? Animal Kingdom, Happy New Year. Year of a Million Dreams. Oh, I like that one there. That's cool. This one says limit to a thousand. Limit to a thousand. Was it 2009? Just limited. 2013. Limited edition. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up some of these limited edition ones. What is this one? Very Merry Christmas, 2004. Oh, that Toy Story one's cool. Yeah, that Toy Story one. And then these big ones, like big party ones. This is massive. Limit to 2,500, it says. Hey, I got a lot of research to do. Probably not gonna research a lot, I'm gonna be honest with you now that I think about it. I think I'm just going to list them on and whatnot and see what they go for. Honestly, if I looked up every single pen, it's going to be counterproductive. 
So I honestly, I'm just leaning towards right now is just putting them all up and whatnot at five bucks a piece, let them go up for auction and let the market dictate what they go for. At this point, I'm looking at this as almost as like I'm a wholesaler because I have 200, wait, I have $2 and 50 cents into each item. And if I start at five bucks, I know I'm at least going to make a small profit on, on each item if it still sells. And the hope is that we would get maybe, you know, on average seven, eight bucks a piece for those and just blow them out. But I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I honestly think there's thousands of dollars here worth of pins, the more and more I look into it. But also too, is do I wanna put in the research and put in the time into this to maximize my profits? Because if I list all these on eBay, it, you know, it might take me a year to sell all these off and it's gonna be slow and steady, you know, so do I want the fast nickel or the slow dime? And that's a constant battle we have to go through as resellers, you know. At, at this point in my, in my uh, business, I'm leaning more to the fast, the fast nickel than over the long dime. And the reason for that here is, is that I have so much merchandise and I need to clear stuff out and start moving stuff. I can't be wasting more time on this. So I don't know. I, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys know anything about these pins, let me know too. But let's let's take a look at the rest of these. This is one here, 2007. This one is limited to 2000. What's this one here? Limited edition. Some more Christmas ones. A lot of Christmas ones, so here's the boardwalk limit to 750. I wonder if that one's a good one because this one's limit to 750. I need to look those up. All right, so I just looked up these pins here all star pin. Uh, it was going for about 20 or 30 bucks, and this boardwalk one, which is probably about 30 bucks as well. So I probably have to do a little bit more research on, on, on these ones. Take a dive into this bag here. Some of these here, 50 years. 50 years. I think this one here is valuable. That's a pass holder one. The only thing that sucks is they lift this outside. So these, a couple of these got wet. So I'm gonna just take them off the, off the back, go through, but limited edition, Christmas, Epcot, Epcot 2006. This is one happy holidays around the world. This Epcot one's really cool. I don't know if you can see that. Happy holidays. Sorry for the glare and the issues here. Put it in here a little bit more. It's better to see. See, these one got wet here too. What a shame. Yeah, a couple. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. It's like the whole Kwanzaa collection in this thing. Oh, here we go. Nightmare for Christmas. Coffin one. Yeah, it's just, just falling apart. These are neat. They're ornament pins. This is limited edition 1200. Limited edition 750. Limited edition ones. There's another half over there. This one's Happy Hanukkah 2011. This is limit to 1500. Happy holidays. Some random box of pins in here. I don't even know him in here. Happy New Year's. This is one. New Year's Eve 2005. That's cool. Veterans Day. Veterans Day is actually a dog collar. Memorial Day, Labor Day, 100. Oh, I think these 100 ones are special edition ones. 15 bucks. One of that one has a special. What's going on?
I mean, as you can see, there's tons of ones in here. Best Dad. Epcot 2007. Thanksgiving. I think there's a whole other stack underneath here, too. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's just, it just keeps going. I'll be your first mate. You'll be my captain. Reindeer Roundup. Officer. Pin Trader Knight. This wilderness lodge. Happy holidays. Limit to a thousand. What is that? 2014. Oh, there's some cool ones there. Captain, Mrs. Minnie and Mickey. New Year's Eve 2005, so. So you guys get pretty much get the main drift of this. I don't know what to do with all these. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do. If you guys think I should list them on eBay. If you think I should put them on whatnot and move them out. But until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out our whatnot. We are doing, well, after this, actually, we're doing a whatnot tonight. So you guys won't know about this whatnot. But this whatnot would already have passed. I'm actually following the Commonwealth Picker after he does his. So I'm going on tonight at 8.30. But we actually have a pin whatnot scheduled for next Friday, which is the 15th. And then we have another whatnot scheduled for all of our vintage stuff next Wednesday. So make sure you guys go check those out. Links down in the description down below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subs on this channel. Until next time, make sure you guys keep slipping and punching.